going to eat so much cheesecake. Hi friends! Today I'm going to show you the look that I'm wearing right now. It is just a kind of natural but glam look that I did for our date night that Tyler and I are having tonight. So if you want to get the look that I'm wearing, just keep watching. All right, to start, I am just going to plop in my cute little headband to get all of the hairs out of my face. Then I'm going to start with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I really, really, really love this stuff. It's so great and it makes my skin so smooth and like a complete blank canvas for my makeup. Just pressing it into my pores, rubbing it all over my face face, slathering it all over my body, you know, the whole thing. Then I'm taking a damp Morphe sponge with my Laura Mercier Tidant Moisturizer and applying this all over my face for my foundation. I'm also going to mix in my Dior Forever Perfect Foundation in number 25. I really love the combination of these two. It makes my skin look airbrushed and the color is a really great match for me. Damp sponge, dab, 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 blend, blend, blend. I've never really been a full coverage type of girl, so this tinted moisturizer and lightweight type of foundation combo that I have going on is really, really great for me. Next, I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and applying this underneath my eyes. Using my damp beauty sponge, I'm just going to blend that out and also blend it on top of my eyelids as a primer for my eyeshadow. Side note, does anybody else really hate the way their voice sounds on camera or through the phone? Because that's definitely me and I'm kind of cringing right now, but it's fine. I'm fine. We're going to make it work and I'll get used to it. I'm also taking that Radiant Creamy Concealer and applying that to the areas of my face that I want to bring forward or highlight, which is just, you know, right in the middle of my forehead, my smile lines, down my nose, my chin, and blending that out with my Beauty Blender. Next, I'm taking my handy dandy Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder and using my damp sponge, I'm going to bake underneath my eyes and really press that in so I don't get any creases and it's set before I apply my shadow. I probably let this sit for about 10 seconds and then I take a large fluffy blur, what? A large fluffy brush and blend it all away. To contour, I'm going to use an oldie but a goodie, my Lorac Pro Contour Palette, and I'm going to be using the Light Contour Neutral Brown shade and applying that to the hollows of my cheeks and also along my jawline to really sculpt that out. A little trick that I've done for a couple of years now, if you don't want your contour to like fall down on your jawline, is to hold up a palette right there to give you a almost like a stencil for your contour that you can just work in and blend out. And then I'm just taking what is left over on my Kat Von D Shade and Light Brush and running that down the sides of my nose and the tip of my nose. Then for my bronzer, I'm using an oldie Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Bronzer and applying this pretty much all over my face. <laughs> but as you can see, like right on the high points of my cheekbones, and then I'm also going to run it along my the sides of my forehead and down my neck and on my chin.
continuing to blend until pretty much my hand hurts. <laughs> Next, I'm taking the flat side of my damp Morphe sponge and I'm going to clean up underneath my bronze slashed contoured area. This part is honestly one of my favorite steps about my makeup routine. I really think this pulls the look together and definitely worth doing. Next, I'm taking the Jaclyn Hill palette for my eyeshadow on my eyes. And for my first shade, I'm just going to use the third color in the top row and use my Morphe R37 brush and really just apply that all throughout my crease. Then I'm taking a combination of the fourth shade in the top row and the second shade in the second row to deepen my crease using my Morphe 513 brush. This is just going to add depth to the look and dimension versus just having that flat neutral brown shade to begin with. Then I'm taking the third shade in the second row and really focusing this on the outer corner of my crease using my Morphe 573 brush. For my crease, I used windshield wiper motions with my brush, but as you can see here, I'm using padding motions to really deepen that color. And now kind of sweeping motions to blend it all out. Next, I'm taking the medium shade in that Lorac contour palette and dragging that along the lower eye. And now here is kind of what we're working with, a nice neutral brown, very minimal smoky eye, I would say. Just going to blend everything out. And now I'm just going to decide what color I want to put on my eyelid. The fun part. And I'm gonna be extra and use a combo of two shades. So I'm gonna use the second color in the third row of the Jaclyn Hill palette and use a flat brush to apply this on my lid. I didn't want too heavy of an application of this shade, just a nice base before I apply the second color. If you wanted the color to be more intense, definitely use Fix Plus or your finger like I'm doing here. Dabbing that on and as you can see it's much more intense than before Now just taking what is left on the original brush that I started with I'm going to use that to make sure there are no harsh lines and blend out the edges of where my crease and my eyelid color come together and I'm taking the second color in the top row and applying this to my inner corner to make it nice and bright. Then I'm taking this dark brown on the bottom row using my Morphe 432 brush to apply as my liner. Because I wanted my liner to be nice and soft and subtle, so if you're going for that, definitely use this trick. I'm going to take that first shade and highlight my brow bone right on the arch, nothing crazy. And then I'm going to brush out my brows and do them off camera because they are a little crazy. And now I'm just going to brush away all of that powder that I set down to clean up that area. And then I'm going to use my favorite blush of all time, the Physician's Formula Blushing Natural Blush and apply this all over my cheeks using my Kat Von D Shade and Light brush. That was kind of a tongue twister. To highlight, I'm using the Becca Opal Highlight and the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio and applying this all over my face to give me a nice glow from within finish. I love this step. I think this trio is absolutely stunning and if you're a bride-to-be, it's definitely worth it. For my highlight, I'm using my Morphe 510 brush to apply this right on the tops of my cheekbones and kind of right on the apples of my cheeks. Woohoo, we're almost done. For mascara, I'm taking a combination of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and the Maybelline Yellow Mascara. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but 
that's what it looks like. I really love it. It separates my lashes and lengthens them really well. And with a combination of the Lash Paradise, it makes my lashes look amazing. See? Look at that. So great. Love it. Next, I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and applying this on my waterline to make my eyes look nice and big. And then I'm going to set my face with my Morphe Setting Spray. Lock it all in place and really let the makeup melt into your skin so you look flawless. I'm taking a L'Oreal Oldie But A Goodie, I think it's a number 25 lip pencil and applying this on the outer part of my lip. It's a nice nudie mauve pinky color, I really really like it. Then I'm taking Jeffree Star Liquid Lip in the shade Mannequin and applying this all over my lip. I love this color. It's perfect for my skin tone and it's just the perfect nude for me. It's gorge. I need to get another. Oh, and then I'm taking a Laura Mercier gloss and applying this right in the center of my lips because your girl loves a gloss. And that's it. That is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I would be super happy to make more videos like this. I actually had a really good time uh, filming this one. It just kind of like got me in a zone. And I don't know. It was really fun. I liked it. So again, please subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what other looks you'd like to see from me. Or maybe even like a skincare routine, a hair routine. Because y'all, let me tell you. My hair is down to here, and I'm not kidding you, like five years ago, my hair was up to here, and it's grown that much. So if you wanna hear my hair story and my hair secrets and my tips and tricks that I have for growing long, healthy hair, let me know. I will see you in my next video. Bye. I don't know how to do this thing. <laughs>